Hello fellow engineers and welcome to Hyperbolica. Now I've been following this for a while. The dev has like a YouTube channel where he shows what he's been working on. And basically this is a non-Occludian styled game. Now what is Occludian you might be asking? Well it's basically like perception as you know it. So basically you can look at something and sort of see how big it is and work out how long it is etc. This game complete opposite of that. It basically makes you trip balls. If you're looking at this loading screen you can sort of see it's a sphere that's rotating but it's not quite rotating. Like look over the left side it's like it's coming at you at a weird angle. But anyway it's very hard to explain so I think we're better off just starting the game by the way, I have no idea what this game is about. Only what I've told you already. So, what is going on? Brain link. Priming ser- Oh, God. No, don't disable that. Oh, I think the game's going to explain exactly what it is. Yeah, because look, we're back at school. We're in geometry class. Geometry is such a fun and exciting subject. Yes, it is. The cornerstone of engineering. So, we're going over some of the basics. Every square has four right angles. Correct. Number two, parallel lines stay the same distance apart. Correct. The circumference of a circle is pi times diameter. Yep. Oh, we're falling asleep. <laughs> I think our character might be an architect. He's not very interested in this stuff. All right, we've just been given some homework. We are we are dozing off a little bit. And oh dear, oh, we're asleep. Oh god, are we asleep? What's going on? Oh, where are we? Oh no, I don't like this. I don't like this. Ugh. <laughs> what just happened? Hello. Uh, Yes, we came from the virtual learning center. That is correct. Me too. Oh. Welcome to Hyperbolica. Ooh. Oh, that makes sense. It's a hidden world. Only for extremely cool people. Yes, okay. So just a warning, if you pick this up yourself, you might not get this level. So yes, it does look like we're on a little planet, but it's just an illusion. It's really the opposite. Oh, I'm scared. Right, so here we are. Yes, it very much looks like we are on the world. A little world. But as you walk around... Oh god, it's so weird. It's so weird. What's going on? It's like it's far away, but it's not far away. Oh, I don't like this at all. Oh, help me. Anyway, he did actually give us a quest. Oh, I'm tripping balls already. I am tripping balls. Uh, he said, follow this path to the caravan site. So we're going to follow this path. What is down there? Oh, look at that. I thought it was a little pond thing, but it's actually a huge area. <laughs> oh, no, this isn't right. This isn't right. <laughs> right, we're just going to follow this path for now. Where does this path go? Oh, is that a trampoline? That's a trampoline. Right, let's go on the trampoline. <laughs> yeah, we're bouncing. <laughs> Oh, look, we're going higher and higher. We can see the entire world. Oh, my goodness. That is really... <laughs> Whoa. Oh, man, the perception is so strange. I am very confused, like, how someone made this. Because usually, like, a 3D space is just, like a 3D space. But this is mental. It's like the computer did mushrooms before it rendered the level or something. Right, let's bounce off this. Oh, God. <laughs> And by the way, this game is also VR compatible, so you could be tripping balls and probably vomiting. Uh, there's a house over there, so shall we go have a look? It's got a very, very trippy door. <laughs> what does this guy say? Oh, there's a war in there. We can't go in there yet. Oh man, it's so weird. It's like these are like painted on, but when you get close, they're not painted at all. All right, so we're still following this path, which we've been following for days. Oh, the beach. So it looks like a painting, but as you get close, it is actually 3D. Oh, and it wraps all the way around us. Oh, it's so weird. Why is it so weird? Oh, look at this lighthouse. It is actually a lighthouse when you get close. Oh, what is this? We found a watch. You found a watch in the bottle. Okay. So yeah, lighthouse. As we walk away, it's gonna... Oh, it's so weird. It's so weird. So I'm pretty sure this is where we started. This is the desk. This is the guy we spoke to. There's the sign. And so if we go back a bit, here's the path. So we're opposite the beach. So there's the campers. There's a farmy thing. I'm tripping balls. So I think we're just going around in circles, are we? What is that? I don't know. Let's keep going around. I feel like the longer we walk around here, the more different stuff there. Like what? There's an entire city here, but we're still going around in circle. I've done like an entire loop, but there's a city there we're going around. Now there's like a cart thing. Oh, then there's that place. We saw that place like 10 minutes ago on this path. <laughs> but this guy's still here. I think it's because the path is longer depending on... Oh, I don't know. I really don't know what's going on. However, I think this is the caravan we're meant to get to and I think there's going to be a map. Yes, he's given us a map. Right, so we've just been told we're on a quest to find crystals. So, we can open the map. Oh, and then things get a little bit clearer how it works. So you can see in the center of the map, everything's sort of normal. So it's sort of easy to follow, but it looks like we're looking at it with like a fisheye lens. 
lens. And that fisheye lens actually projects into the real world. And therefore, it makes you trip balls. So we are going to go in this jungle thing. So we go in here. I'm tripping balls already. <laughs> We can go, we can't go down any of them, they're dead ends. We can go this way, there's dead end down there. Okay, so two more dead ends and then right should be the way out. But there's actually another turn, oh god, this thing goes on forever. There is a way out there, that's good to know. Alright, and then we got this thing, which looks like we're going to trip balls in here. Let's go in, let's see what we got. Alright, so... Where do we go? I guess we go read what the hell this is. Nothing too important. Just a load of lore. Oh, and now things have already gone wrong. Because things that were in view, you go around a corner and they're no longer in view. All right, this guy's just asked if I could help him out with his YouTube channel. Sure. What is up, fam? It's SuperGuy137 coming at you with a live and then rad new video. Uh, what should he say next? Oh, definitely talk about the sponsor. Gotta make that fat cash. This video is sponsored by Funky Figures. Collect nerdy figurines from all the biggest media franchises. All right, just ending his video. Peace. Where's the love and bridges? What an amateur. Right, anyway, I'm very lost now. How the hell do I get out of this place? <laughs> oh, I'm so confused. There's so many paths. There's so many paths. Basically, because this exists in like a normal space, I just can't get my head around how this works. Like I'm just going left and left, but then left doesn't exist anymore. I'm so confused. However, thank goodness there is a map. So we can find our way out in a way that our brain can recognize. Like, ooh, what is this? Is this from the crystals? I think it's a crystal, but we found the crystal. Right, I'm really gonna have to use this map to get back out. Firstly, if I don't wanna throw up, Secondly, if I actually want to get out of here. Like, it all looks so simple when you're viewing it in this view. Yeah, so basically, I think as you walk along areas, like, they change. So you can sort of see, like, like that bend straight ahead of me. What is it, like, 60 degrees, 70 degrees? But as we get close, it changes to 90 degrees. Oh, it's so confusing. Anyway, we finally found our way out. All right, so now we've just got to get out of this little bit. I think there's a left here. Yeah, thank God. Oh, we're free. We're back on the never-ending path. All right, so let's see. Can we go in the snowy area now? Yes, we've just been told there's a ceasefire. We can go in. And oh, God, look at that fence. Look at that fence. That's not good. All right, so they just said there's, like, a war going on a cold war because it's in the snow terrible uh this fence is freaking me out a bit but also actually helping me because it's telling me where straight lines go assuming it is straight that is oh let's follow these tracks what's over here is that like it looks like a catapult or something i think it is a catapult do i get in here all right we're in someone fire me someone press fire Right, okay, here's a cube. I assume it's a cube. Please be a cube. I'm scared of, like, going round things in case it's not what I think it is. But okay, that was actually a cube. Thank you, game, for not spinning me out. All right, let's just keep following this fence. It's got to finish somewhere. Oh, and it does. It actually does. It does have an end. Thank God. What the hell are these? Knitting needles? Yes, apparently they are. All right, I've been going around the edge of this map for what seems like days. And... <laughs> I don't even understand. Like, my, my smooth engineering brain cannot comprehend what's going on, really. Oh, it's the YouTube again. Nah, bog off me. All right, we're finally back at the catapult. So, oh, this is really hard to explain. But, like, going from that end of the fence to that end of the fence next to the fence takes, like, 20 seconds, maybe. But doing it this end of the path, like, by this catapult, which isn't too far from the fence, looking at it, it took like five, ten minutes. Right, we've just been challenged to a snowball fight. So, boosh, eat some of that. Boosh, oh no. Oh no, things curve. Oh, ow, you hit me. Oh, I'm so, this is really, really confusing. I right, gotta hit each of them five times. Bloody hell. We got that guy. Right, go for the long rangers. Damn perception. Right, we got, we got the blue guy. Blue guy's down. Eat some of that pink. All right, just the orange dude left. Ow. Yes, we did it. All right, so we've been given a secret password so that we can get catapulted over. Oh, I'm tripping bulls. Just walk into the catapult, though. It's horrible. Yes, I have the password. The one handed down generation from generation. All right, we are in. Boosh. Oh, God. Oh, no, this is not good. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Ow. Oh, my head. My head. All right, it looks like there's a trebuchet if we want to go back. And as we know, trebuchet is the superior siege weapon. I'm the what? Oh dear. What have we got ourselves into now? All right, she's given us some blueprints. We have to go give them to Chester. I assume Chester is an engineer. She doesn't know what to do with blueprints because she's only an architect. So let's go do that. All right, so here we go then. Oh God, it's horrible. It's horrible. <laughs> I don't like it. 
I don't like it. Man, I'm actually gonna have to stop recording this as well. I'm gonna throw up. This, this is disgusting. My brain just cannot hack this. Oh, what's going on? I can only imagine what playing this in VR would do to you. But yeah, game is now out. If you want to try it yourselves, have a go. But you might need... Go have a go. But you might need a strong stomach or a strong brain. I don't think my brain is the right type for this game. <laughs> it's horrible. I need a world where we can do trigonometry. But anyway, guys, peace, love, and out. Bye.